Hello guys, it's Frosty the Dragon trying this recording for what must be the seventh time now. Cause the missions are actually getting hard enough that I keep dying. I start to wonder sometimes what I've gotten myself into at this point in the game. Now, one of the recordings died at the final wave because I made a very bad purchasing decision. Don't get me wrong, the laser turret is a good weapon, but to rush it and not leave any money for phase shields for the final wave is just asking for trouble. Uh, focus, focus. So yeah, I've... The other thing is, I've had to get rid of my uh, version of x Patter. It's old enough that some of the newer games simply don't respond to it whatsoever, and whenever I try to... Uh, whenever I try to um, get the new version, I'm forcibly directed to the uh, donation page. I'm sorry, I'm a college student. I can't risk this. I can't risk paying for something like that yet. I'll settle with default joystick controls if I have to. And speaking of joystick, I'd like to get one of my pet peeves out of the way. Uh... There's apparently a number of people who insist on using a keyboard for those online beat-em-up games like Dungeon Fighter Online, Rusty Hearts, that sort of thing. Though I no longer play DFO, I first heard a discussion in Rusty Hearts, and... I'm peeved? I grew up so much using... Uh, using uh, game pads for beat-em-ups... that I cannot bear to imagine someone trying to play even a 3D beat-em-up with just a silly little keyboard at those angles. The buttons would be too close together and uh, I don't know. It would be easy to mess up I guess is the reason and uh, you also can't put yourself in a good position when playing with a gamepad without a gamepad. You, you need you need good positioning to be able to play these games well, and uh, I just don't see that in a keyboard. Even one of those keyboards you can rest on your lap farther away, because how are you balancing the thing? How are you balancing the thing? You can't just let the keyboard flop around. That's bad, too. Almost. Yes, don't risk it. I don't want to be losing my minigun. Yeah, you lose weapons if you're damaged too much when your health is low. Uh, go to the cell. I'm going to sell the dumb fires. Whoops. Something I want to buy before I leave. Missile pod. Yes, I'm serious. It fires a bunch of air-to-air -air missiles forward. It's great for aerial skirmishes, does nothing for the ground, which is why I'm holding on to the minigun. Minigun also lets me be safe if I need to. Whereas with the scatter pack missile pod, I have got to uh, get right in their faces. Or they might want to get right up all in my face. That works too. That's the situation I expect more as things get hectic. I expect enemies to be chasing after me and not the other way around.
There we go. And I, yes, I insist on having only two special weapons. A lot easier to control that way. It's probably due to my gamepad tendencies, but... At least unlike the, uh, unlike the Manic Shooters, well, I don't know if you call them Manics as much as, uh... You know what? I can't pronounce the proper word correctly, so let's just call them Curtain Fire Shooters. Oh, that's slower than last time. Alright, got him. This is crazy. This is crazy. But yeah, unlike those types of shooters uh, that I was trying to discuss earlier, you don't immediately die if hit, so you can you can go get away with uh, people seem to claim that there's less res that the uh, game pads are I don't know what they say, less responsive or something like that. Less precise, I think that's what the term is. Less precise. But I am going to be one of the people who admits I've always played the Toho games when I've gotten the chance. I've always played the Toho games with a game pad. I'm not exactly a lunatic shooter anyway. And probably never will be because I'm not going to specialize in that type of game. Yes, I insist on being a jack-of-all-trades gamer type. Alright, so we've blown up the biohazard facility. Take out a good chunk of the boss's health now. There. Not too bad in the shields department. Have one mega bomb. I'm going to do something a little uncharacteristic. I really desperately need shields for this battle. Good shields. So, I will buy two face shields. As for the face shield, see those icons over there in the new meter on the left? That represents your face shield, or your overshield, as, you, as some people might want to call it. This will basically let me focus on the mission at hand. And I can afford to take some risks now and then. Later levels, you actually start getting these from the... Uh, from the supply pods or supply ships I don't know which it is in those levels yet yeah after this level most of my most of it's gonna be uh, mostly blind the only trick to face shields is you as far as I know well we're gonna find out later but as far as I know you can't really replenish them at the same rate I do want to try minimizing how much I actually buy these over shields because I, uh, before this playthrough ends, I want a plasma ray, death ray, whatever you call it. I don't expect to actually be able to get the twin lasers, so I'm going to settle for that. I probably should demo all the weapons, uh, Oh yeah, you can replenish it a little, as you probably just saw very briefly. Release a... Let's see. There. And my first shield is almost gone. I am not doing well. And this is why I bought two face shields to get me through to this level. I want to at least have full normal shield, if not a little bit of my overshield 
for the boss. As I remember him as being a, a, a huge pod with a lot of missiles and plasma. Missiles and plasma are not good things to uh, experience on any day. I mean, really not good. And there's my, uh... Alright, we should be coming up against the, uh, oil platform soon. Yes, you heard me right. Oil platform. Awfully well defended for an oil platform, mind. Alright, I've still got the first, uh, overshield. Not for long, of course. Can you see why I need him? Can you? Alright, my first overshield has gone bye-bye, but this is actually better than I was hoping. Alright, it's game time. There's the pod, and there's the missiles. Stream it down a little bit, and boom! I'll be able to carry this overshield to the next to the next uh, sector. Sweet. Wow, I might be able to afford the laser turret right now. Let's find out. All right. And after destroying their oil operations, I've landed. All right, and now I'm going to be flying blind, but that is going to be for next time. This is Frosty signing out.